Eight lights. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live to clarify the correct way to use those lights. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, we have all been there before, whether you were blinded by somebody's high beam headlights or maybe you were the one that forgot they were on. I know I have before. Well, there is a Georgia driving law on how to use your high beam headlights correctly. And I spoke with Lieutenant Scott Davis with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office Traffic Division to help us all see clearly. Using your bright lights on a dark road at night can help you see better, but if you don't use them correctly, it can blind other drivers around you. Jerry Booth emailed us asking if there were any laws on using high beam lights. Lieutenant Scott Davis with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office Traffic Division explains Georgia Code Section 40-8-31. But in layman's terms, your high beam or bright lights as we refer to them normally, high beams or bright lights, uh, they are to be reduced within 200 foot of a motorist that you're following, following or within 500 foot of an approaching motorist. Davis says the best practice is to be courteous of others when using your high beams. Dimming your high beams when you're near traffic can help avoid a crash. And you're obscuring what they should be watching in front of them, which is potentially the vehicle that's traveling towards them or persons or animals or objects in the roadway. If you happen to see another driver using their high beam lights incorrectly, Davis says it's okay to give them a quick flash with your high beams to help them recognize what they're doing. Those people will realize what you're doing because it's common practice uh, that they will realize what you're doing and, and you know, they'll, they'll be courteous back to you or extend that courtesy back to you. Davis says people who have had custom work done or made changes to their high beam headlights need to be mindful of how bright they are to other drivers. Now, Georgia Code Section 40-8-20 does say that you can have three points added to your driver's license for using headlights incorrectly. And Davis says you can also be fined for using your high beams incorrectly. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. And thank you. A tip for you. If you're blinded by an oncoming car, just focus on the white line on the outside of your lane away from the oncoming car. It will keep you on the road without staring straight into the high beams. And if you have a road problem that you'd like for us to look into, you can just message us on Facebook or send an email to news at 13 WMAZ.com. You may see some